Jermaine, Mr. Payne, Wednesday. Jermaine weighed in at 76.9 kilograms. <laughs> Jermaine is facing the title holder from Tsunami Jim, John, the one, Maguire. <laughs> John weighing at 77 kilograms. Gills, the belt again. Because I didn't feel like I had a fight last time, to be honest. 
Um, didn't really have any cuts or bruises apart from the whole cut that opened up. Um, I was under the impression after what I said to him at the end of the last fight that we'd be having a rematch uh, uh, probably in June. Obviously it's transpired that that isn't to be the case. Um, but I was still training, I said the day I still want to fight, you know, find me someone to fight. So we did, and now we're fighting. I'm fighting again on the next one. I'll fight on every show if I can. If I'm fit and healthy, I'll fight. That's what I do, that's how, that's how I get paid, that's what I do for a living. Ooh. What's it like sitting next to Keon? You two old rivals here. I'm just waiting for the money to come on the table. <laughs> <laughs> question as a man who's never got to do any more fighting as long as this so it must be that Kian you love it or she tested me I know more about it tomorrow there you go no more about it tomorrow Thomas what do you say to that Nothing where did you get the black eye Thomas stuff with the same gonna see tomorrow yeah I've lost the back pot, and maybe you're, you're, you're thinking about me based on my skills, how I've lost the back pot. But to be honest, probably everyone in MMA division would lose the back pot. But you should, see, you should see my fight last week 15 seconds, 20 rounds, stop, break my judo, gone. So uh, I'm ready for tomorrow. Hope we're going to have a good, fair fight. Any more questions? Got the featherweights over it? Yes, sir. A uh, question for uh, Jermaine. Um, headed into the fight, uh, John wrote you off. Do you think he's going to underestimate you tomorrow? You done what, sir? I said uh, heading into the fight, John. Uh, do you think John will underestimate you tomorrow? Yeah. <laughs> it's the job of the uh, other fighter to always write off his opponent. Yeah, and to always talk down and to always think that he's better because that's the way you're supposed to be as a fighter always feel, feel and think that you're better than your opponent even if they're supposed to be better and faster and stronger so um, it is what it is it all, it all boils down to two men in the cage fighting with a referee either to um, predict where the fight's going to go so um, really it doesn't matter who, who it doesn't matter, it, to me it doesn't matter it doesn't matter what he says it's irrelevant Any more questions for the featherweight titles? You got Dave Lee defending his belt? Yes, sir. Yeah, I was going to say about defending your belt, Dave. You've got um, last night James Savile and another up and coming fighter coming in, and uh, you know, you've got uh, Nate Benz, another up and coming fighter who's been doing well. <coughs> Did you feel lots of pressure in this fight when you're defending your belt, or is it just a normal fight? No, no pressure. I mean, it's uh, another fight. Um, so, there's no pressure. I mean, it just motivates me more to defend my belt again, so, and, um, you know, cement it on the champion here, and that's it, you know, so, there's no pressure, I mean, Nathan's, you know, a tough guy, but they're all tough in this division, so, no, no pressure, I just uh, enjoy training hard for fights, and if I can get motivated for a fight, then perfect, and Nathan just motivate me more, he's a tough guy, a good record, solid uh, fighter, so perfect for me to fight. Just a quick question, Nathan. Uh, you demolished Jeff Lawson, who also beat Dave Lee. How do you think that fears you going into the fight? That's his enemy, Matt. You can't do that. I train as as I always do to fight Dave, not somebody who's beaten Dave. So it's an honour to fight him, and we'll see what happens on the day. Yes. Dave's shown that he's got very good jiu jitsu. James, as I mentioned, went to sleep in the last fight. <coughs> You're coming in to face the champion, the guy's got awesome preference. So when a fight hits the floor, if you make any mistakes, it might get difficult. How do you feel going into the fight, and how do you train and reflect against these skills? Well, they've been submitted yet, and I, I train hard against submissions anyway. Um, I like the different aspects of the fight. It's good. I like people who throw submissions at me. I want to be able to defend that. And I like people who stand. I like all <coughs> aspects, like you said. Like Jermaine has said, it's MMA. We train all things. Okay, cool. Yes, hang on. I found out David Zell was the top down from like heavy to middleweight. Yeah. To be honest, um, I'm a, I'm a, I've always
always been a middleweight fighter. Uh, the only reason that I've took like heavyweight fights is because it's been names like Boswick and Chapman and stuff like that. So as soon as I've heard the names, I've jumped at them, regardless of the weight. I am a middleweight fighter. I walk around at about 87 kilo. So to be honest, for me, this this is about as natural as it gets. So I'm, I'm more comfortable here where I am than fighting these, you know, these, these monsters. So yeah, I feel a lot better for it. Have you seen Carl? Where big is? Yeah, I know, but compared to Chapman, I, I don't think you know, a lot of people are looking smaller now, you know, so. <laughs> and Carl, have you got anything up your sleeve tomorrow for David? I know you've seen his fight, you're quite impressed with his last fight. I've got to sort his leg out. Uh, no, I ain't got nothing special, just trained everywhere, just... And he's from like to fight gym, so he likes to fight. I like to fight, so everyone's a winner, isn't it? <laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner. Any more questions or a question for Khalid? Khalid, I know you look forward to this fight. You, you lot have been on the phone non stop. How many more tickets? How many more people can I beat up? Khalid, how, how hard have you trained for this fight? Because I know you was injured last time, uh, your weight. How, how, how differently have you trained? Um, I always train hard. I got ill on the last one, February 5th, was it? Um, a bit unlucky, I caught the flu um, last two weeks ago. And then, um, so I just trained, I was carrying on training, so they got better. Um, and I'm ready to rock and roll. And this is what I like, so the fighting's good. Ready to rock and roll, yes. The last fight dominated it, and then the way you won the fight, you did the same thing. Yeah, that's the way I fight. No reverse gear, forwards, no backwards. Reverse is broken. Broken reverse. So that brings you up. Where, where's the hazard? Can you run this mic down? Can you run this mic down? Hazard says he's got a few things up your sleeve though to a... Uh, yeah, can I have a mic runner? I can't keep doing this. Yeah, just, uh, just in answer to that, it sounds like it's going to be a bit of a tear up then, so I'm looking forward to it. No, it's just business as usual, you know, when we go in there, there's cameras, there's lights, it just means they're turned on, it's done. So, no, it's exactly the same thing. Wayne, well, last time when you, were, you seemed to, to like get the right sign the second you walked out of the cage, is that what happened, wasn't it? Yeah, well, you know, like Carly said, we were meant to be fighting. On February the 5th, um, unfortunately got ill. I thought it was around Christmas time. He pulled out like two weeks before, but you know, whenever. Um, so yeah, it was it was already on pretty much. So you know, it just went ahead. Yeah. Was that just a scheduled fight, or was it something? You, you yeah, know, yeah, just just, just a scheduled fight. They offered it up, and we both jumped at it. Right, there's no more questions, guys. We're going to weigh the guys in for your Facebook pictures, and if you've got any more questions, Brad, will be asked a question about blood tests or nothing, like <laughs> nothing Brad, for you. Yes, young man. Ben, if you win your next fight, then you do get another title shot. But Mark wins it off of Ronnie. What will happen? Will I happen? can answer that. Yeah. Yeah, ask me. Yeah? <laughs> they, they are not going to fight each other. 100% they're not going to both say to me, they won't fight each other. They're like buddies, roommates. Anyway, I've got, I've got to smash Ian Hawkins up first. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of smashing going on in the heavyweight division. There's a lot of big fights coming up. Uh, June is a big one. Ollie Thompson and Mark Potts, and I'm really looking forward to that myself. Uh, yes, sir. One more for like Keanu and uh, <coughs> Thomas. Like, for who? Keanu and Thomas. Yes. Like, given you're both really big lads and you've got a big punch, both of you, I don't think I can't see it going out of the first round. So it, it looks like it's going to be a vicious war. So how do you prepare mentally to go into for a fight which is not going to go the distance? I'm very well prepared. Thank you. <laughs> Hang on, this has gone for a man who had loads to say today and nothing. I'm doing my talking in the cage. I like, I like the new attitude. This is good. And Thomas, how do you prepare? Just 100% on? Uh, obviously, we're both big, powerful guys. So obviously, we're going to try to, to give it you know, 100% or 110% of our effort with the first two or two and a half minutes. And I, I don't see this fight going any further. If it's going to be half of the first round, this is the this is the whole thing I'm actually expecting. <laughs> I'm not 
vi en klocka, då säger vi att vi har det här. Vad han säger är att vi ska vi åka hjälp, vi ska vi göra en flor. Att det ska vi rädda upp, vi ska vi först... Hade vi ett fyrt sätt? Jag ser en två minuter. Någon fråga till den stora killen? Om Jermaine vinner, den väg framåt är väldigt klart. Men om John vinner, vem är i den divisionen som ska ta en fråga till honom? I'm asking Dave. <laughs> oh, you always ask me the hard questions, didn't you? Do you know what I mean? Well, there's a, there's a lot of guys who, who are up and coming. They're always asking for Dean. They're always asking. Uh, Ross Pointon's back on the scene. He's fighting Dean. He says he's going to go in the first round and he'd be, he'd be begging for John to fight. So we'll have to, we'll, we'll have to see. But really, at the moment, now there is no one that can take John out, I don't think, personally, don't believe. So we might have to bring someone in from Germany, the USA, somewhere, Brazil. Oh, Henry, he fought Henry, yeah, he fought more of you. He's fought and beat them all. Try to talk me down, Dave. No, no, what can I say? For Jermaine, the way forward, you never know. Yeah, hang on, Brad, one punch. Oh, God, sorry, don't cut me off. On that note, are you actually planning to get more international fighters back into your guard like you I'll talk to you later, Brad, yeah? Right. Cheers, mate. Thanks for that, anyway. <laughs> Listen, guys, you know, I'm not hiding anything. It's all about money. It's nice to see supremacy back in us. It's nice to see the water guys, uh, balance water, uh, caps are. It's nice to see, but without sponsors, these shows just can't move forward. You know, it stays at a certain level. You know I've been there. You know I've had the biggest names in this country. Forget about 